Good evening. So we are about to start the class. So right now it's 7.56. So I will just get in mute for a while while the people get in uh, to the class. Okay, right now it's eight o'clock. Today's is going to be the video conference number 15. Uh, we're going to go to the vocabulary practice regarding this unit of this day. And uh, today's we are going to move from eight to 10.30. And due to uh, there is a means, uh, there is some minutes that the Zoom, the application didn't um, record, record on the first class. So uh, right now, I'm just waiting for the people getting uh, to the class.
I already sent uh, uh, the message to people, to the students. So just this floor, join us right now. Good evening, Floor. Hola, teacher. Oh, buenas noches. Good evening. How are you today? ¿Cómo está? Bien, gracias a Dios. Bien. Cansada. Okay. Cansada, <laughs> me imagino. Cansada, con sueños. I know. Okay, so since you are the first one uh, on the video conferencia, so the class today, so today we're going to move on uh, to the video conferencia number 15. We're going to review the vocabulary practice. Okay, and uh, we're going uh, to um, the class objective for today is at the end of the class, the student will be able to use the vocabulary covering unit number three to make polite requests, react to good and bad behavior, and give instructions on etiquette at the workplace. So um, this is the agenda that we have for today. So we're going to review the topics and vocabulary cover in the last sessions. Uh, we move on to learn new vocabulary. Also, we go over to that conversation. We're going to make some role plays. We're going to request, um, make request, and uh, as always, we're going to do a uh, wrap up. Okay, right now, what we're going to do, Fleur, uh, we're going to review the topics and the vocabulary that we cover in uh, the last sessions. Okay, as we're going to stop um, sharing this one and we move on uh, to the textbook. Vamos a revisar lo que vimos el día de ayer. Ok, le voy a compartir una link, el cual hicimos una, un ejercicio, we did an exercise, and I'm here in the chat, so you can download that part. Me dice si lo puede ver. Cuando lo guarde me avisa. Ok. Esto lo tengo que abrir. ¿Es necesario? ¿O es eso lo, o es, es lo que usted? Es lo que yo estoy compartiendo ahorita. Ah, ok. 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 okay. Uh, lo que vimos el día de ayer, eh, terminamos de completar, we, we uh, finished the email etiquette or the um, how to send a business email. Okay, so if you see here in a task number one or part number one, we have some vocabulary. Okay, we have delete, send, attachment, open, CC, and link. Okay, this is some vocabulary regarding the emails, right? So I don't know if you have any question regarding this vocabulary. Una pregunta sobre este vocabulario. Okay. Okay, so we go over to this one. Okay, so you can do at home. 
Esto es lo que eh, completamos el día de ayer. Igual aquí está la misma. We have the same uh, vocabulary here. You need to complete the number one to number six. Then uh, in a part number three, we have this vocabulary as well. Reply, reply to all, forward and delete. Okay, we have uh, uh, this part, okay. Remember from is the person who sends the email. Two is the person or entity who receives the email. So is the recipient. The CC is the person who are the people who receive the email. We have the subject. Remember the subject is the topic that you are talking about in the body of the email. And the attachment are the documents that you include in the email. It could be photos, it could be um, a document, a, a, for example, Word document or an Excel document or any other um, information or a PDF document that you want to include in the email. So, básicamente, esas son las partes en que está compuesto el email. So, we have from, de quien, to, para quien, la CC is the car, uh, carbon copy, a quien va dirigido. Good evening, Julia. Thank you for joining us. Eh, the subject is, es el tema o de qué se trata uh, el email que está mandando y los attachments son los documentos que van agregados al, en el email. Okay, basically, this is what we covered uh, yesterday, right? So, at home, um, after class or tomorrow, during um, weekend, you can uh, complete this one and you have any questions, si tiene alguna pregunta, me la hace saber y así es, le ayudo a completar el ejercicio. Eh, thank you, Andrés, for joining us. Básicamente, esto fue el vocabulario que vimos el día de ayer, que completamos el día de ayer. And um, let me just to also, we're going uh, to share this. Let me share the, the textbook. Okay, uh, we went over to this part, to this page, page 35. So this is uh, some of the etiquette um, guidelines that we cover or we just discussed. Uh, during the class, right? So for example, we have uh, when you uh, communicate with employees, okay, this part, let me just to highlight this one. Okay, or clients in any part of the world, in those cases is necessary, I'm sorry for that, to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. Ok, si se acuerdan, la, la etiqueta del email es, primero, we have a greeting. A greeting that, for example, we say, um, dear Rodriguez, dear Miss Rodriguez, excuse me, uh, dear Julia, or oh, dear uh, Andres Cepeda. Thank you, Carlos, for joining us. Thank you, Flor, for joining us. And uh, also, oh, we, we use titles titles. For example, good morning, Mr. Serrano. Anna, you give a greeting for that. Then uh, remember you have to be uh, straight to the point. So the car, you have to describe in one line what is the email about. And then at the end uh, we um, close the email with saying best regards sincerely and your name, if you have, um, if you have a, 
a signature you can include it in that as well. También se le puede incluir. Okay, also we cover on that if, if you are late, when you go on late, so you need to call the authority or the immediate boss that you have or immediate supervisor to report that you're going to be late due to the circumstances. For example, there are a lot of traffic or there is an accident uh, um, on your way. So that's the things that um, you possibly be delayed at your workplace. Okay, also we cover something here when you are at the table and you receive a call. So it's not appropriate that you answer the call on the table. You can say, excuse me, you stand up and you answer the call away from the table. So also when you are uh, eating, so you need to close your mouth when you chew, okay? Because in this case, remember, there are some uh, um, situations or some uh, events. For example, if the company has the anniversary, so they made a little uh, cocktail just to uh, celebrate the anniversary or for example at uh, the end of the year uh, most of the companies they make up a party okay a yearly party just to uh, greet um, the employees okay for their um, effort right so that's why you can have these situations Okay, also we answered this part and we summarize at the end the, the etiquette that we have. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions so far. Hay alguna pregunta de lo que vimos el día de ayer. Ahorita vamos a continuar con el repaso. Okay, uh, le voy a mostrar a um, 15 basic rules for etiquette at business. But before moving to that, is there any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? No. Everything is fine? Okay, very good. Okay, I will unshare this one and I will move on to this part. Let me just share this one. Okay, let me know when you can see um, the screen. Can you see it? La ven? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Okay. okay, we have a 15 basic business etiquette rules. So we go to the first one and we're going to discuss one, um, every one of them. So the first one, it says, always introduce people to others whenever the opportunity arises, unless you know that they are already acquainted. Okay, so in this case, when you are talking with a coworker, or most of the time, a client comes, or any other uh, person uh, outside the company comes and arrive to the company and uh, they take a tour about the facilities, around the facilities. So most of the time, the, um, the bosses or the supervisors or managers introduce these people to their employees in case they don't know most of the time. So it is a good way to introduce a people that the other people da doesn't know, that the other people don't know, okay? Esa es una regla básica que eh, presentar a otra persona. En dado caso, los dos personas que voy a presentar no se conozcan. So it's a basic rule of this. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. How um, arises 
arises es que surja. Whenever the opportunity arises. En este caso, está diciendo que cuando la oportunidad sea adecuada. Por ejemplo, en eh, lo que les estaba diciendo, cuando alguien, eh, probablemente un jefe que está en otra branch, eh, llega al, a la branch que estamos nosotros, probablemente eh, mi supervisor o eh, mi emple, mis empleados no lo conozcan. Entonces, en este caso, eh, una, la oportunidad surge para poder presentarlo. Arise es surgir. Acquainted. 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 Acquainted es cuando ellos no, en este caso, um, conocido. Sería. Unless you know that they are already acquainted. En este caso, al menos que tú sepas que ellos ya se conocen. Acquainted es conocido. Okay, very good. Do you have any other question? Nope. Okay, very good. Let's move on uh, to the next um, slide. We have a handshake is still a professional standard. It sets the tone of for any potential future professional relationship. Okay, so remember when you say or uh, when you greet uh, people, so you don't say hi, you don't say that, all right? So you give a handshake, okay? Cuando es en negocios, lo más formal es darse la mano, okay? That is a handshake, okay? The ladies, eh, probablemente, eh, they kiss on the cheek, okay? They kiss on the cheek. Pero generalmente, ya sea hombre o mujer, en, en las reglas básicas de negocios, so you can have a firm handshake. Ok, porque hay veces, eh, we just give a handshake, this, this person give a firm handshake, but this person get in this, like this is not adequate to that. So, tiene que ser un handshake firme, una, un apretón de manos firme. Porque personas le dan la mano y, y la otra como que de mala gana. So, remember, body language speaks more, more than the words. El lenguaje corporal es, habla más que las palabras. So, da más but, cosas a entender. But right now it's impossible. Yes, that. that's correct. Right now, it's impossible to do that. So you can say, in this case, is the way, or oh, the good way to say, to, to do that, right? But for a standard a business, um, etiquette is a firm handshake. Very good. Do you have any questions regarding vocabulary here? Alguna pregunta sobre vocabulario? No, everything is okay, good. Okay, we have another, we have number three. Okay, Carla, can you read this, please? Always say uh, please and thank you, even in very casual, professional atmosphere. This basic form of courtesy is still imperative. Okay, it's still imperative, the last part. Es imperativo decir thank you, even if it's not very formal, as well in, um, in, uh, um, in this case is a very a basic form of courtesy. All right, so always we need to say please and thank you. Very good. So we don't have to explain more on this. And uh, uh, Andres, can you read number four, please? Uh, don't interrupt. It's real and show disrespect respect for the opinion of the other. Remember, be assertive, not aggressive. Very good. 
don't interrupt. So in that case, if you interrupt uh, people when they are talking, so it's disrespect, okay? Shows disrespect. Okay, questions about vocabulary here. Una pregunta sobre vocabulario? No. Okay, let's move on. La palabra on. disrespect. Es irrespetuoso o irrespeto. Okay. Okay, let's move on to number five. Perdone. Yes. Perdone, en la, en la, en la anterior estaba una que dice still. ¿Esa qué significa? Still, todavía. En este Ay. caso sería, eh, esta es una forma básica de cortesía que es aún eh, mandatorio, podemos, o imperativo. Ok, let's move on to number five. Ok, um, Julia, please read number five. Watch your language while sometimes maybe common, commonplace in, in our uh -huh. society is never accept, acceptable 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 in a professional atmosphere 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 okay. if you see what's your language language well something may be commonplace in our society it's never acceptable in professional atmosphere very good okay so remember in a business uh, things you need to always watch your language the way you express the way you uh, say the things so because probably as uh, we mentioned yesterday something could be misunderstanding okay so something we we need um, we say something in a good way but the other people probably they took in a bad way. So that's why we need to watch our language. Okay, especially in business. Okay, very good. Questions about this? Nope. Okay, let's move on to number six. While teacher. Yes. While. While is mientras. Okay, el otro commonplace. Commonplace sería eh, en un lugar común. Por okay. ejemplo, dice, well, something may be wild, uh, may be commonplace in our society. Por ejemplo, hay cierto lenguaje que es apropiado en, o es común decirlo en la sociedad, pero no es aceptable en el ambiente profesional. Okay. Por ejemplo, por darle un ejemplo, cuando yo le digo, eh, pues le puedo decir a mi hermano hey, o a un amigo, hey, maje, vení para acá, pero no le puedo decir a alguien eh, más si es superior en el trabajo, hey, maje, vení para acá, ya es mi supervisor. So, it's not adequate, it's not, it's not, it's not acceptable, as he says. So, por eso hay lenguaje que en, en, en un ambiente común, por ejemplo, en un ambiente de cherada, en un ambiente de hermandad, puede ser aceptable y no es ofensivo. Pero en un ambiente de negocios, eh, sí puede ser ofensivo, right? So, you need to be careful with that. Okay, very good. Let's move on to number six. Okay, number six, Carlos, could you read, please? Uh, double check your emails for spelling and grammar errors. Do a quick read to make sure the meaning and tone are what you wish to open. Convey. 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 Okay, first of all, we need to double check uh, the emails, right? For spelling and grammar errors. Okay, for, uh, you can write an email and uh, you can uh, make some observations, but it depends. Remember, we need to be careful with that. Eh, no puede abreviar please como PLZ 
o thank you, T y, y la Y, o you're welcome, la Y y, ¿cómo se llama? La W. So we cannot make those kind of aberrations. Okay, you need to check that one. As well, you need to read. Porque a veces escribimos y nosotros no lo podemos tomar como rudo o como grosero. Pero si la otra persona, cuando la otra persona lo lee, ok, eh, a veces como que nos quedamos un poco así y decimos, ¿por qué me dijo esto? Yo siempre he dicho, y creo que siempre lo voy a decir, si hay algo importante que tratar, es mejor hablarlo que mandar un mensaje, un WhatsApp o un email. So, it's better that you talk about that than you write about that. Porque a veces las palabras escritas se pueden tomar mal. So, in this case, that is very important that you read and make sure the meaning and the tone. A tone is referring to el tono de que se está enviando o se está manejando. Okay? So, es necesario hacer esto para eh, verificar que estamos eh, dando a transmitir lo que en realidad queremos dar a entender. Ok. Very good. Questions about this? Convey es, eh, en este caso, dar a entender. O transmitir, you can say in that way as well. Okay, any other question? Okay, let's move on uh, to number seven. Okay, uh, Flora, can you read number seven, please? ¿Cómo se pronuncia la tercera, de la tercera línea? Which one? Anans, una, that is unan, unanans, unanans, la tercera línea. Unanans, ajá. Uh -huh. Unanans. Okay. Don't walk into someone's office. Unanans. Unanans. Mm -hmm. It's always, it's always a good idea to call or email and Schedule. 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 Let them know that you need to talk to them first, right? You can do it by a call phone when you call, or you can do it by email, sending an email. Also, you can schedule if you have, if you send that information, or if you ask that through an email, it's a good idea to schedule in your calendar an appointment. Okay, so that a person will be aware of that appointment and will be free at that time. Okay, very good. So, do you have questions about this? ¿Y esa palabra qué significa? Un announce, no, no, no. An announce es sin anunciar. O sea, solo entro. Usted está en su oficina, Flor, y usted es mi jefa, y yo solo entro. Ni le digo, ok, ni le digo, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, con permiso, ni nada. Y no le avisé que iba a llegar porque necesito hablar con usted. Entonces, es sin anunciarse, sin anunciar que quiere hablar con esa persona. Right? That's why they say, it's always a good idea to call or email and schedule a good time for both of you. Ok. Welcome. Let's move on to number eight. Okay, uh, Julia, 
please uh, read number eight. Don't gossip is natural to be curious and interested 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 in what other people are doing are doing but talking about someone who is not present is disrespectful disrespectful very good okay don't gossip okay no hay que ser uh, esparcir uh, rumores, right? So it's natural to be curious and interested in what other people are doing. Pero talking about someone who is not present is disrespectful. Okay, siempre se da eso de cómo se llama hacer conjeturas de algo que pasó, algún in altercado que tuvieron algunos compañeros y nosotros Eh, probablemente eh, conozcamos parte de los eventos pero porque conozcamos parte de los eventos no nos da el derecho de andar diciendo eh, o esparciendo el rumor de por qué se dio ese altercado eh, we don't know that so at the end, las únicas personas que saben son las que tuvieron el problema right so what, are, what that issue was so they know about that. Okay, do you have any question regarding this? Yeah, what does it mean don't gossip? Gossip is um, chambrear o esparcir a rumor. Gossip is the chambre. Como dice, vamos a chambrear. Don't gossip. Any other question? No, no. Okay, let's move on to number nine. Okay, uh, Carla, please read number nine. Um, how do you pronounce eavesdrop? Eaves, eavesdrop. Uh, if, don't eavesdrop. Everyone is entitled, entitled, entitled to create conversation in person, over the phone, or by email. Very good, don't eavesdrop. Everyone is entitled to uh, to private conversations in person, and uh, over the phone or by email. In este caso, no usmear. Okay, so cada quien tiene el derecho de sus conversaciones privadas, ya sea in person, is uh, live, okay, in persona, over the phone, or by email. So most of people like to eavesdrop, okay? Se quedan haciendo algo cerca, aunque, eh, o se tardan haciendo algo cerca de las personas que están conversando para eh, usmear. So andar orejeando, como se dice, right? So eavesdrop, that is that, usmear, orejear. Any other question or questions about this? Is entitled to Oh, it's entitled as el derecho. Everyone is entitled to private conversation. Thank you. Okay. okay. Una consulta, teacher. Yes. En el caso de los emails, mm -hmm. eh, porque siempre se le pone e y un guión. No puede ir, y si solo lo pongo email sin el guión, es correcto. Okay. Sí es correcto, pero el e es electronic. Electronic mail. Acuérdense que mail es el correo normal. Es el correo que recibimos una carta de alguien de Estados Unidos. Entonces ese es un mail. Entonces se le pone la I, el guión email, porque es un correo electrónico. That's why it's I. That is electronic mail. Ah, oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Welcome. Um, any other question? Nope, let's move on to number um, 10. Okay, so uh, Andres, please read number 10. Uh, no sé cómo se dice lo primero. <laughs> Acknowledge. 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 Mm -hmm. Acknowledge. Other 
if you are yours mm -hmm. in the middle, the middle of middle of some time something important it's fine to ask them to wait a minute while you finish very good so in this case es importante saberle hacerle saber perdón hacerle saber a otros que usted está en algo en, en algo importante que por eso momento no lo puede atender ok o decirle just wait a second or, or hold a second or hold a minute I will be in a couple of minutes with you or any other expression that you can let them know that you are busy so in a while you will attend them okay you will uh, you will be with them okay uh, question with this preguntas con este item todo está bien okay so we're going to move on uh, uh, to the next one and Carlos please read number 11 um, avoid the big two with how blurred, blurred. many uh -huh. blurred con de al final blurred blurred uh -huh. many of the personal and professional lines but politics and religion Blur. are still of of lim limits. limits okay aquí es eh, tenemos que eh, evitar lo que el arma de doble, doble filo, right? So the big two. Okay, there are some blur. Um, blur es algo que es borroso. Que es difícil de identificar. So we have blur many of the personal and professional lines. Okay, so let me just move on to this. Okay. Um, okay, let me just to okay continue with this. I was just reading a chat in the the someone sent. Okay, so um, I was saying that uh, we have to identify when we need to cross the line. No es bueno cruzar la línea. Even though you are your supervisor or your immediate boss is your friend, because something is outside the company or outside the business, and something is when you are inside the business. Okay, um, politics and religion are still off limits. Why? Because I have a point of view. Probably I have my uh, political party and the other person uh, doesn't agree with my point of view. So in that case, we have an argue. We can have an argument, right? So we can argue about politics. Also, religion is not good to treat in uh, uh, business things. Why? Because the same thing happened. I will ha I will say something as a, my point of view and the other person will say something as her or his point of view. And we will have an argument regarding that. Okay, do you have questions about this? Yeah, teacher. Yes. Uh, Blurred is the pasado participio de que verbo? Es el, ese verbo eh, regular. Blur. De blur. Con doble yes. R al final. Sí. Blur. Y, va, no, yes. y, es, no, va con una R. Lo que pasa ah. es que aquí va con, termina vocal consonante. Entonces, por eso es que se le agrega la otra R. Entonces, blur es algo borroso. Algo que no se puede ver muy bien. O no se puede escuchar igual. Se puede escuchar bien. This something blur. Okay, any other question? Nope. 
we move on to number 12. Okay, um, uh, Flor, please read number 12. La última, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. Be on time. Be in punto. Show. Other said, you value their time. Being late, you mean that you inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. ¿Cómo me dijo Incon inconsiderate? Inconsiderate. Okay. So punctuality is an important aspect on business. Remember, you have a, an, a, an appointment uh, when you are a salesperson and uh, you are selling. Good evening, Tatiana. Thank you for uh, joining us. Okay, so good evening. Good evening. Okay, so you are um, you have an appointment with a person that you are going to sell something. Okay, so if you are late, even though you have, it's not, it's not in your hands. So that means that you don't uh, consider the other people's um, time. Okay, remember time is value. Okay, so if you're not arrived on time to an appointment or a meeting, so that is, inconsiderate, desconsiderado, right? So, any question regarding this point, point number 12? No questions? Okay, we move on uh, to the next uh, part, number 13. Uh, Carla, can you read this part, please? No fun doing meeting is disrespectful to the other attempt Attendees. At, attendees, uh, not to mention family, annoying. Annoying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you phone uh, during meetings, that means that I don't care what the speaker is saying. Y el speaker o el hablante o el moderador so can be offended. So can be offended about what you're doing. So that's why it's not fun during meetings. It's disrespectful to the other attendees, not to mention extremely annoying. Okay, so questions about vocabulary here? Nope. Okay, we move to number 14. Okay, uh, Andres, please read number 14. Don't be a bushman's uh, car pusher. Ask for the other person's cars. Offer to ex exchange cars or ask if you can leave your car before you reach in your pocket. Okay, in this case, don't be a business car pusher. Okay, no a todas las personas que vea, le voy a dar mi tarjeta de presentación. Hola, ¿cómo está? Mire, aquí está mi tarjeta. Ni siquiera le ha, le, le, le ha preguntado cómo se llama ni qué cargo tiene, pero ya de un solo le está dando su tarjeta. It's, that is annoying, right? You don't know si la otra persona la quiere o no. So you don't know about that. So that's why he says, don't be a business car pusher. As for the other person's car, Okay, antes de offer yours, right? So you need to ask, do you have a, a business car? Uh, can I have that business car? Okay, this is mine, okay? Ahí hay un intercambio, ya es más, como diría, es más formal. Okay, saying, uh, asking before you giving yours. Okay, offer to exchange cars or ask if you can leave your car before you reach into your pocket. Okay, that means that le puedo dar mi, mi tarjeta de presentación si gusta para que me llame y podamos hablar más del tema. 
ok, si la persona dice sí, ok, aquí está entonces. No solo cuando empiezo, le puedo dar mi tarjeta de presentación y ya con la, con la bolsa en la mano, con la mano en la bolsa, perdón. Ok, and you give it. So, that is, that is not polite. Ok, questions about this. No. Nope. Ok, let's move on to the last one. And uh, uh, Carla, please read this part. Uh, show genuine interest. Keep eyes contact and make an effort to truly listen to what others are saying. Resist the loo of distortion and haste. In haste. Very good. So in this case, it's saying show genuine interest. Keep eye contact. Okay, eye contact. You need to look at your people or the person's eyes and make an effort to truly listen what the others are, are saying. Porque probablemente lo podemos tener un contacto visual, pero estamos pensando en que dejé en la cocina los frijoles. So, o okay, que realmente me preguntan algo y que digo, y digo, ah, ah, ok, sí. So you need to keep eye contact and make an effort to truly listen what the other others are saying. Okay, resist the lure of distraction and hate. So, solo porque estoy a prisa o porque hay algún ruido alrededor mío y yo vuelvo a ver, so, es una distracción. Right. So, do you have any question regarding this? Yeah, what does it mean? Lure. Allure is como atractivo. In este caso, se refiere a resistir la tendencia o a la distracción. Es un atractivo. And haste is prisa. So, resistir el atractivo o la tendencia de extraerse y, y la prisa. Ok, entonces probablemente no me cayó bien a esa persona. Even though it's my boss or any other co-worker. So, solo por eso no lo voy a escuchar. So, ando preciso. No. So, you need to, because it's a business thing. Right? Ok, guys. Do you have any question about the... Um, 15 basic rules or basis, basic business rules. No questions? Okay, very good. So we're going to move on uh, right now. We go over to the textbook. Let's move on to the textbook and on page number 36. And I will share this part. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to work in pairs and uh, um, we're going to work in pairs. And you're going uh, to develop this part, activity number four. So what we're going to do is we're going to write, okay, we're going to write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues. So you are in charge of a group that is going to visit another company to make an alliance. Okay, está a cargo de un grupo de empleados o un grupo en sí que va a visitar a otra compañía para hacer una alianza. So, what uh, things or what um, etiquette needs to be applied in that part? So, tienen que hacer un manual corto que es not, I will give you 15 minutes and then we're going to share what you have done. No sé si hay alguna uh, pregunta antes de hacer los grupos. Acuérdense, por eso es que vimos los, eh, estas 15 reglas básicas, incluidas las de ayer. So you can uh, include those on that. 
eh, si tienen alguna que agregar, la pueden agregar. It's not a problem. Ok, tienen que escribir una manual de etiqueta. No tiene que ser extenso. Just um, a short edi manual etiquette for your colleagues. Porque ellos van a visitar una compañía que probablemente puedan llegar a un acuerdo para tener una alianza y hacer negocios. Ok, I will share this part and uh, we're going to move on to the peers. Ok, let's move on uh, to this and uh, we're going to write uh, work. Andres and uh, uh, Tatiana. And uh, um, we're going to work Carlos, Daniel, and uh, let's see, Julia. And then we have Floor and Carla together. Okay, so Andres and Tatiana, Carlos, Daniel, and Julia, and we have Floor and Carla. So you're going to write a short uh, manual etiquette for, in this case, for this business. Para ir sí. a otra compañía. Ahí, ahí creo que hay uno en el, en el libro, ¿verdad? Dice manual. Sí, ahí hay una, uh, como una guía. Son seis items only. So you can take as a, as a example that one. You, you can use that. No hay problema. Mm. Podríamos poner este que avisar antes de llegar a la compañía. Entonces, en este caso, no sé si tendría que ser. Eh, no, no, notify before arriving. No sé si es. Arriving. Es, es en ese contexto. Before arrive, yes, it could be. Notify before arrive will be uh, one of that. Uh, este, tal vez otra pudiese ser. Eh, ya llevar preparada como una agenda de lo que pretendemos hacer en el día Ajá. o sea no llegar y, e improvisar ok, very good so prepare an agenda it could be perfect prepare, yes prepare an agenda Okay, continue and we'll move on to the next group. Okay. This oh. is to be in part of to your office. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Entonces sería eh, eh, tendría que ser si ya lo ponemos nosotros. Eh, ser puntual con la hora de entrada a la oficina. Uh -huh. um, eh, sería VIP, VIP puntual with the time 
of sí. entering to the office. Va, me dice eh, be puntual the time. With, with time. With the time. Ah, with time. Mm -hmm. W-I-T-H. The time. The time. Of entry to the office. Está hablando sobre el, el horario o el turno. El horario. So you can be on time to your schedule, podría ser. Se está hablando del horario. Eh, eh, el horario en el que entra a la oficina. Uh -huh, de entrada. Okay, so you can say be on time on your shift. Shift, I will just write it in the chat. You can write it in that way. Okay, shift. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la palabra, teacher? Be on time. In? Be on time. Sí. Be on time in your shift. In your shift. In your, ¿Cómo se escribe esa palabra? Ahí está en el chat. S H I F T. No ah. sé. Ok. No, no la pueden usar. Pero lo que acabo de mandar es que sale parado en las gradas. Ship. 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 Sí, okay, continue. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I will move on to the other group and please continue with this. Always be on time. Ser puntual, le dijimos. Ajá, ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo le puso? Always be on time. Always? Be on time. Always be, ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Be puntual. Ok. Una nos falta. Uh -huh. Quiero ver. ¿Cuál otra puede ser? Hay tantas que no. <risa> tantas que no ponen en práctica. Teacher, how do you yes. say? Uh, uh, someone are, are talking or someone is talking? talking? Is. Is. ¿Qué significa eso? Uh, don't interrupt while someone is talking. Cuando alguien está eh, hablando. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería no interrumpir. Ajá. Mientras alguien interrupt. está hablando. That's right. Don't interrupt while someone is talking. Why? Ajá. Why? Mm -hmm. While someone is talking. Someone is, is talking. Talking. Ajá. Yo creo que ya le escribí. No interrumpir cuando alguien está hablando. Uh -huh. Okay, do you finish? Not yet. No, no, Not yet. Okay, I will move uh -huh. on uh, to another group and uh, please continue with this. Okay. 
¿Qué, ¿Cuál otra podríamos utilizar? Este... Ya con eso ya tenemos, ¿verdad? Sí. You finish? Yes. yes. I... Uh, very good. I will give you one more minute. And because the other groups has not finished, uh, have not finished yet. Okay, just one more minute. I will go, I'll okay. move on to the other groups. <clears throat> okay. Hola, me quedé solo. ¿Qué pasó? Eh, creo que Julia tiene problemas con el Inter. Uh -huh. yeah. Ok, ¿hasta dónde está? Bueno, ahorita sí, se, se conectó Julia. Ya se va a volver a conectar, ya la voy a, ya la voy a volver a unir. Mientras tanto, ¿en qué? En, dígame ahorita las, las que tiene. Ya, ahorita. Eh, lo que pasa es que entendí eh, que eh, buscáramos las etiquetas de la oración. Entonces, okay, Carlos también tiene, you have issues. Ok, yes. Hola, hola. Yes, le escucho. Este, le decía de que avisar cuando si he tenido algún atraso en... A mi jefe o a mi superior. Ok, pero acuérdense que aquí se trata de que a uh, un grupo de personas de sus compañeros eh, van a otra compañía a, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, dice Julia que se le reinició la, la computadora. Se salió. Espérenme. Ok, le estaba diciendo que es con respecto al grupo de personas, de sus compañeros de trabajo que van a una compañía a hacer una alianza con esa compañía. ¿Qué reglas de etiqueta tienen que seguir ellos? Puede ser, podemos eh, enfocarlo, eso es lo que me acaba de decir. Pod podremos enfocarlos. Ok, déjeme ahorita, permítame. Voy a unir a, voy a salir ahorita y ya la voy a agregar aquí al private room. Ya regreso. Ok, Ok, déjeme ver. No, aquí. Sí, ahí está. Ya, ya Julia se va a, a unir. Hola. Hola. Hello. Ya regresé. Ok. No hay problema. Bye. Ok. Lo que le estaba diciendo a Carlos, Julia, es que acuérdense que esto es enfocado a un grupo de, de sus compañeros que van a ir a otra compañía a hacer una alianza. Carlos me estaba diciendo que estaban viendo lo de Leinens, de, de si tienen algún atraso. En vez de decir my boss, puede decir a notify the, the other company that we are, going to, we are going to be late. O notify the point of contact, el punto de contacto de que ustedes van, van retrasados por alguna eventualidad. Si so can, pueden enfocar eso de esa forma. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok, just um, in a couple of seconds vamos a, no importa si no han hecho mucho, ya ahorita vamos a retornar, un par de segundos retornamos al main room. Ok. Sí. Sí. Okay, do you finish, girls? Yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, Let's, uh, yes, dígame. Uh, don't answer the phone in middle, a meeting? Yes. A meeting. In the middle of 
a meeting. Uh, of a meeting, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, right now we move on uh, to the main room and then we're going to discuss those things. Okay, very good. So we're going to move on uh, to discuss uh, what your manual is. Okay, Andres and Tatiana, please read yours. You can read what you have. Okay, este, bueno. Notify before the ride. Uh, to prepare an agenda for a day. Make a road for go the other companies. Okay. Uh, make a person car. And don't be impatient. And don't be? Impatient. No, no ser impacientes. Impatient. Okay, don't be okay. impatient. Very good. So good rules. Okay, Carla and Flor, what do you have? Um, always be on time uh, to avoid gossip, respect the ideas of others, don't interrupt while someone is talking, don't answer the phone in the middle of a meeting. Of the meeting, very good, of a meeting, very good. Okay, Carlos and Julia, what do you have? Eh, solo una, teacher, logramos That's hacer. Fine. Don't worry. Eh, right. eh, notifi notificate that I will be late for the meeting. Okay, notify that I will be late or I will arrive late uh, to the meeting. Very good. If you see there are um, some others, okay, that uh, we can mention, but the uh, time is short, so we cannot go in deep in that case. Okay, very good, guys. Do you have any questions about that? No questions? Okay, so we're going to move on uh, to continue with the things or the topics that we have uh, prepared for today. I will share the presentation and uh, uh, we move on uh, to the vocabulary. In this part, we made a review about what we have, what we just covered during the last session. So we're going to move on to the vocabulary and uh, we're going to work individually on page number 37. That is activity number one. The, um, you have to, uh, you have to find the vocabulary listed. Okay, number 37, I will unshare this part and I will share the page. Okay, I say I work individually, but uh, just to make it this easier, we're going to work in pairs. We're going to work as we were before. Okay, you have this um, puzzle and what you need to do is, you need to find uh, the words that are in this one. Remember, we have etiquette, guidelines, polite, manners, regards, punctual, latecomer, behavior, salutation, and subject. Okay, so you need to find uh, this into here, okay? So I will, we're going to move on uh, to the same uh, couples that we were before. Andres and Tatiana, Carlos and Julia, and Flor and Carla. Okay, before doing that, uh, voy a tomar asistencia antes que se pase más el tiempo. Okay, so we have uh, Eduardo Antonio Ángel Martínez. We have Jenny Quesada uh, Fernández de Campos. Uh, we have Kenny Alexandra Montenegro Galdames, Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos. We have Monica Guadalupe Martinez Munguía. We have uh, Jose Ernesto Rivera Deras, Wendy Joana Estrada Escobar, 
Andrés Oswaldo Romero Cepeda. Ramos Cepeda. Ramos Cepeda, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Present. Okay, very good. We have Eduardo Alfredo Perez Rugamas. Tatiana Flores. Present. Siempre se me va así como que... Y me queda Tatiana. Sí. <laughs> ok. Uh, we have Carla Evelyn Melendez Guzmán. Present. Very good. Erika Paulina Rivera Llanes. Maritza Elizabeth Chicas Villalta. Mariela Lourdes Amaya Herrera. Flor Mena Morena, excuse me. Flor Morena Rodríguez de Morales. Present. Thank you, Carlos Emilio Contreras Romero. Present. Thank you. Dora Ayala de López, Emma Carolina Araniva Sarabia, Daniel Edgardo Álvarez Hernández. Por ahí andaba. Julia Carolina Monge Rodríguez. Present. Thank you very much. Y me, me dijeron que les notificara antes que se me olvide de que eh, tienen que poner su nombre completo. Eh, es parte, eh, para la administración es más fácil auditar la asistencia si ustedes ponen su nombre completo cuando ingresan a la plataforma o a la clase. Just, es un anuncio que me dijeron que les notificara. Okay, doing that, so we move into the couples and we work on activity number one on page 37. Let's get into that. Contra uno. ¿A dónde? En la primera. Hola. Uh, ah, subject. Hola. Subject, ¿cómo las marca usted? No se puede. ¿no? Yo estaba con el navegador con el que la abro el libro, creo que no me permite. No, no se puede. Bueno, quiero ver a casa. Andrea. Si quieren, les paso el link del, del libro online. Así lo pueden descargar. Yo lo tengo, ah, yo uh -huh. tengo aquí, pero se me abrió en, en Firefox. Pero no, no encuentro cómo. Ok. ¿Cómo lo tienen en el explorador. Sí. O lo tiene eh, o lo ha bajado directamente a la computadora. Este no, en el explorador lo tengo abierto. Yo lo descargué en WhatsApp y lo pasé a la comp. Ok, le voy a mandar de ver que ayer compartí, pero no encuentro. el libro en my documents in déjenme ver una cosa ok si quieren lo que podemos hacer les voy a compartir el libro en la pantalla y ustedes les toman un screenshot tal vez así lo pueden compartir Solo déjeme pasarme acá. Mientras tanto voy a buscar eh, el libro que tengo. Ya le tomé captura. Ya le tomo captura. Ok. Sí. Very good. No sé si puede compartir la captura. Ahorita. Va a ser más fácil. Ya encontré otra. Ok, muy bien. 
ahí pueden usar esa como, como modelo y pueden dibujar o pueden marcar las, los dos. Solo, solo se van a opciones. Y está a anotar. Y ahí hacen, por ejemplo, ¿cuál había encontrado esta, verdad? Subject. Y ahí está, y lo marca. No sé si lo pueden ver, lo que yo marqué. Sí. Ok. Entonces, así lo hacen. Van, van encontrando. Okay. Don't worry, that's fine. Okay, continue and I will move on to the Uy. other group. Hay mala línea. ¿Y eso cuál es? Un fun. Gu, gu, ah, aquí está para arriba. Esta es, mire. ¿Ya la vio? En... Esa. Ah, sí. ah, wait the lanes. Ajá, sí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. ¿Qué significa wait the lanes, teacher? ¿A dónde, es? ¿A dónde está? Eh, esta que dice with the lines. Guidelines. Ah, Guidelines son las, los lineamientos. Ah. I'm sorry. Ah, yes, dígame. Eh, no nos podría poner la... Es que fíjese de que yo solo en el teléfono lo tengo, entonces okay. no se... Don't worry. No podía... Of course, not a problem. Ya a esta hora ya no nos dan los ojitos. No sé si está bien ahí. Sí, yo, yo la miro, no sé usted. Sí, yo sí. Le voy a tomar captura. Ok. A ver, etiqueta. Uy, pero se ve chiquito, quiero ver. Ay, no, esta hora ya no. Ya no veo. Ya encontré subject. Ok, En la good. primera línea. Usted la puede eh, dejar ¿Cómo ahí? le marco aquí? ¿Cómo aquí. la marco? Eh, bueno, puede donde dice anotar. No sé si está anotar. No sé si la, le pueden tomar. Lo que ya, pasa ya, es que ya. como me tengo que mover de grupo, no, ah, no va a quedar. Pero no yo lo quedar. tengo. ¿Sabe qué? Hagan, ah, okay. Hagan un poquito más grande. Vaya, permítame. Porque yo le tomé captura y me salió bien chiquita. Vaya, espérenme. Ahorita la hago más grande. Ahí está bien. Yo creo que sí, vamos a ver. Si no lo hago más grande. No, pero yo creo que ahí está bien. Lo voy a copiar. Va, ahí está bien, dicha. Ok, very good. Alegre. Le voy a compartir entonces ahorita la pantalla. Ok, continue with that and I will be back in a couple of minutes. Ya no la marcó, pues ahí, por. Ya la habíamos. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Salutation, no falta y soy, Jeff. Sí. Salutation. Aquí está. Ajá. Ahí está. Ya hizo los subjects, no falta. Subjects ya la tiene. Ah, sí, sí. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah, pues ya estamos, ya la terminamos. Ok, very good. I will give you three more minutes, tres minutos más, mientras los, perdón, los otros dos grupos terminan. Ok. Sí. No, verdad. Aquí está. Ahí está. Entonces, nos falta manners. 
o ya está Mandy, ah, sí, ya está. Sí. Ya están todas. Behavior. Eso no fue. ¿Cuál? Behavior. Behavior. Quiero ver. Behavior. Ah, ya lo encontré. Behavior. Salation. Salutation. Salutation. A solution. A salutation. Salutation, okay. Yeah. Okay, finish? Yes. Okay, I will give you one more minute while the other group uh, finish with that. Okay. Donde está a salutation? Está de en la última columna uh -huh. y digamos de arriba para abajo ah. hay una E ya la hay una sí. ajá ajá guidelines así cuál es otra manners etiquette etiquette tienen que haber dos Ya está esta. Y Soja, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Tiene que ver una TT cerca. Dos T pegadas. Allá encontré etiquet. Uh, eh, ya, ajá, cabal. Hasta la E. Una V ando buscando. Con V se escribe de high volume. Menor. Si no encuentro una V, ya la vi. Y hay dos V ya vi, pero no veo que se ve. Ah, ¿Aquí está? Aquí ah, está el B, I, B. Ahora, polite, no hay menos. Una P, está una P. Voy a buscar yo la otra, manners. Ajá. Madre, estoy chuco, yo. Ah, ya la encontré polite en la última línea. Al final hay una V, entonces está a, a la par de una P, ajá, está al revés. Ahí está, polite. Ahí está. Falta. Manners, regard, delay, coma. Manners, regards. La te comer dice, se escribe, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, la te comer. <risa> uh, Ahí está por una E. Pero me quiero ver si por la una puedo... L, empieza por una L, digamos. Pero, ¿Por dónde está? Déjeme ver. Ya. Quiero ver si puedo anotar. Uh, ya la encontré. Ya la encontré. Está, sí, ahí a la par de... Ajá, okay, so we'll go back to the main room. Ya lo encontré también. Es, a la par de Behibor, para abajo, está Manian. A la par de la A de... Aquí, aquí, aquí. Ahí, sí, it's a... Very good. Solo una. One more. Y, no, salutation and regards. Uh, Imagen, aquí está Rigarte. Ah, ya la vi, Rigarte. Ajá. Hasta la S. Hasta la S. Very good. La última. Y la última es. Salutation. Salut Salutation. Salutation. Ah, no, me emocioné, pero me da eso. <laughs> Aquí está. Very good. Ahí está. 
Yeah. Very good. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. So we have uh, this one. I will just share. Uh, can someone share the screen? Alguien de ustedes puede uh, mostrar la screen? No importa si se ve todo así pintado. Thank you, Tatiana. Okay, if you see, we have this one, right? So let me just to. No sé si ven el puntero, right? Lo ven o no ven el, mi puntero? No. Okay, I don't think you should see it. Okay, but basically that is the solution of the exercise in the first line on the top. At the beginning, we have the subject part. So let me verify, can I do this? Uh, okay, quiero ver si... Okay, if you see, there is the subject. Okay, that's the word subject. Then uh, we have here, let me see. Y casi no lo puedo ver. But let me just to move on this. We have punctuality here. Okay, we have punctuality. Also, we have uh, regards in this part. We have uh, manners in this part. We have polite in this way. We have a salutation Okay, you can uh, read it from the above to the top. We also have guidelines okay, here. We have the guidelines. Uh, we have behavior here. And uh, also we have This one, we have etiquette in this part. And the last one that we have here is late comer. Okay, I don't know, it, does everybody has in that way? Si todos lo tienen de esa forma? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. Remember the vocabulary that during this uh, unit is etiquette, guidelines, polite, manners, regards, uh, punctual, latecomer, behavior, salutation, and subject. I don't know if you have any question regarding that uh, vocabulary. Alguna pregunta de ese vocabulario? Nope. Everything is fine. ¿Qué significa be behavior? Behavior. Behavior ah, es behavior. la conducta. La manera de comportarse. That's the behavior. Cuando le decimos a alguien, a alguien perdón, please behave, Es, por favor, compórtese. Right? Behave. Behavior es la conducta y behave es comportarse. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, Tatiana, can you unshare the screen, please? Podría dejar de compartir. 
es que no encuentro dos. Ah, pero me quiero ver si... <risa> Déjeme ver si... Arriba es... Ah, ya, ya lo encontré, sí. Lo encontré? Es que se me escondió, sí. Ok, muy bien. Pero... <risa> eh, quiero ver. Bye. Ok, thank you very much. Ok, so we're going to continue with the rest of the... of this part, and now we're going to share the screen. Okay, so right now we went, uh, um, we just finished with the vocabulary, right? So the vocabulary listed on page 37. So right now we're going to work in peers. So we're going to work with another uh, person. And you have to create a conversation when uh, you provide instruction on etiquette at workplace. For example, pueden poner como un escenario en la meeting de la compañía eh, o una meeting con su jefe inmediato. Okay, for example, can I say, eh, Carla, by any chance, do you know what is the correct etiquette when you are in a meeting with your boss? Y uh, Carla me empieza a decir, yes, a good um, rule is just pay attention and don't interrupt your boss. Ah, I see, Carla. And uh, I've been just thinking about that um, arrive on time will be a good idea. Um, right, Carla? Yes, it's a good idea or it's a basic rule, arrive on time. Okay, y ustedes siguen con la conversación. That is an example, right? No quiero una conversación extensa, tampoco muy cortita. I will give you 10 minutes just to create a conversation and after that you're going to present to the class. Okay, I will just share this one and I will, I'm going to move on and uh, with this I will recreate the couples. So Andres is going to work with let's say with Julia. Carlos is going to work with um, Carla and Tatiana is going to work with Flor. Okay, please join us to the converse, uh, to the rooms, break up rooms and I will uh, give you 10 minutes. Carlos, dele click al, para entrar al break room. Break room. Thank you. Sí, hombre. A ver qué. Vamos a ver aquí, a ver si hacemos este... Le entendió al teacher lo que vamos a hacer. Teacher. Yes. Ok. <risa> ok. Dijo. Eh, lo que vamos a hacer es eh, hacer una conversación de las etiquetas, de las reglas de etiqueta que hay que tener. Voy a poner un escenario, por ejemplo, en una reunión con su jefe. Eh, por ejemplo, como les estaba diciendo, eh, hice el modelo con Carla de... Eh, Carla, por alguna, por casualidad, ¿sabe alguna regla de etiqueta cuando está con, en reunión con su jefe? Sí, y empieza Carla, en este ejemplo, Carla a dar las etiquetas, de, las, las reglas de etiqueta que ella sabe. Y yo puedo agregar otras en la conversación. Por ejemplo, puede ser... Julia, do you know any um, etiquette rule when you are with uh, your boss in a meeting? Y Julia dice, yes, I, it's a good idea that you pay attention what your boss is saying. Don't interrupt him. And uh, digo yo, 
it's it's a good idea to be on time, right? It is a, a Julia. Yes, it's a good idea to be on time. If you are late, so is uh, is disrespectful or is not respect? Okay, y ahí continúan ustedes con la conversación. Es nada más una conversación corta de eh, instrucciones de etiqueta. Okay. Yep. Okay, very good. I will move on to another group. And if you need my help, just call me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Giving to me some guideline. To me some. Or oh, giving me. No. Give me. Some, some con de hijo or some con he. Some. Se escribe some. Some. Today is first meeting. 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 Today it's my first meeting. Ah, uh, today is mind? my first meeting. Would you mind giving to giving, me? Giving me. Giving me. Giving. giving. Oye, en vez, de decir, en vez de decir giving me, um, you can say giving some etiquette rules. Porque some ya, ya es tácito que eh, como solo es la conversación entre ustedes, ya... Uh -huh. ya, les, ya se sobreentiende de que se la va a dar a usted específicamente. Right? Um, uh, Etiquette rules. Have it, uh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Would you mind giving some etiquette? Va? Etiquette mm -hmm. rules. Etiquette rules. Eh, oh, no leo la lógica, la oración. Hoy, 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 es, okay. hoy es mi primer. No, ah, es de... Ajá, ahora es mi primera reunión. ¿Te importaría darme algunas O sea, es como que si yo soy nueva en el trabajo. Entonces, oh, ahora no, es no. mi primera reunión. Ah, ok. Ya tiene tiempo de estar allí. Usted me va a ayudar y me va a decir algunas reglas. That's right. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Continue and I will move on to another group. Okay. In primer lugar. Vamos en el lugar de trabajo. Ticket tickets are important, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Import. Bájale el volumen, Carlos, por favor. Are import. Important in a workplace. Important. Lleva la la acento el acento en import. Important. Important. Y te, te, eh, finalizamos en cualquier lugar. O oh, en el lugar de trabajo. In a workplace. In a workplace. In a workplace. En, en el trabajo, ¿verdad? En el trabajo. Aquí. Vale. La segunda. Eh, Podemos poner we are polite. No, ajá, we are polite eh, to write um, in mail. Pero polite es ser cordial, es teacher. Sí, o ser cortés. O ser educado. 
polite. Puede venir de ser eh, be polite. Tiene que ser cortés, educado, amable. You can say it, you can translate into that. Okay, continue right. and I will get back in a couple okay. of minutes. Okay. Así como más fácil. Ah, first. In first. In first. Como decir en primer lugar, teacher, ¿cómo, cómo pudiéramos ponerlo? First, uh, primer lugar en una carrera o primer lugar en un punto. En un punto. First of all, first of all. Lo voy a escribir en el, en el chat. First of all. Primero que todo. Ah, first, first of all. First of all. First to all. First mm -hmm. of all. First of all. First of all. Mm -hmm. oh, ¿Está bien eso? Es. Primero que todo o es nada más como van a decir primero, segundo, tercero. No, eh, estamos hablando así como este, si nosotros es como un call center, digamos. Este... ¿Cuál es la manera de llamar a tus clientes? En primer lugar, llamarlo por su nombre. A call. No sé cómo podría ser ahí. A call the customer by their names. Mm -hmm. But here, or call. his name. Uh -huh. Call. ¿Cómo digo, teacher? Call. 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 The customer. Customer. By his or her name. His name. His name, si es hombre. Uh -huh. Her, her si es mujer. Uh -huh. His okay. or her name. Y cuando me quieras referir, referir, perdón, a, a, a dos géneros de, de una sola manera. You can call the customer by their names. Por el nombre de ellos. They, they, their they. Name. You, call, you can call the customers by their, their names. By their names. Mm -hmm. But por su nombre, si Yes. ¿Cómo dijo Julio? Eh, but es B U T, ¿verdad? Yes. But. Pero sería you can call the customer by. By es B B Y. Por. Ah, por. by. Uh -huh. By. Nope. Their names. Y no podría, no se puede usar ahí customer for their name. You can, cost, you can use the customer's name. You oh. can say customer's name. Customer name. Más fácil. Customer's name. Ahí está en el chat. Se los acabo de mandar. Customer's name. Custom, ah, customer's name. And, and polite. Mm -hmm. Podría usar, teacher. Y educadamente. Ah, uh, you can be polite. Be polite. Y al ponerle be an, antes, ¿qué quiero dar a entender? Ser educado. Yes, ser educado. Mm -hmm. Ok. Para usar ahí unas, unas preguntas, unas palabras, por lo menos. Okay. Bye. And be polite. Be polite.
Eh, como para preguntarle a, a Andrés, teacher, ¿qué horario de atención tienes en so, las llamadas? So you can o, say, what is your schedule? What? What is your schedule? Schedule. What is your schedule? Schedule. In la llamada. Como a veces como que les ponen tiempo, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, but is, what is your um, handle time? Sería ahí. What is your what is handle it? time? ¿Cómo se escribe handle time? Ahorita se lo mando. What is your handle time? Okay, the schedule, estamos hablando, yo pensé que estaba hablando del horario que tiene. Sí, de, de atención. De, de atención. De, de trabajo. Ajá, de sí, trabajo. What is your schedule? Pero no. Ajá, en entonces este caso, sería el otro, el tiempo. Sí, what is your handle time? El handle, handle time, time es el tiempo de la llamada, en que se maneja en la llamada. Acuérdese que... Eh, ¿Usted trabaja, en Andrés, en el call center? No. No, pero este, yo trabajo en, en Gamank, pero este, nosotros eh, utilizamos bastante las llamadas telefónicas, entonces. Ah, ok. Pero, pero lo, yo pensaba, con, como con Julia, que estaba diciendo el horario de trabajo que teníamos. Ahí ¿Sí? podríamos usar la palabra punctual. Ah, be punctual. Uh -huh. Be punctual at 8 p.m. No sé. Uh, be punctual. Uh, you can say, you can be... Arrive on time. Arrive on time. Ya sé, eh, como se está hablando de trabajo, ya se sabe que tiene que llegar a tiempo, a su horario, a su hora de entrada. No es necesario especificar mucho porque ya cuando, cuando dice arrive on time, ya dice llegar a tiempo. Ya se sabe bueno. que es en el horario de trabajo. Y la palabra puntual que está ahí, es, es, puntual. es puntual. Es puntual también. Y la para usar unos como you can say you can be punctual you can be punctual you can use that puntual ah entonces teacher entonces le tendría que preguntar mejor what what's your schedule is schedule uh -huh. schedule uh -huh. Para que él me diga ser puntual. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, ok, usted le pregunta, what is your schedule? And you can say, and Andrés dice, my schedule is from 8, por decir algo, my schedule is from 8 to 5 p.m. And uh, always, I always arrive on time. Or I always, I am always punctual, you can say. Yeah. Okay, continue, we'll move on to the next um, sí. group. No puede responder ninguna llamada. No debería responder ninguna llamada. No debería responder. Ah, entonces. Eh, no sé si vi que el teacher entró, pero no sé si yes. está. Ah, teacher. Yes. Eh, when I... Uh, when I ask, I can I sh answer the phone? I can answer. You shouldn't answer any call. When when I ask you can, I can uh, answer. It. You shouldn't. I can. Ahí podríamos entrar en la otra forma de responder. So dice no, y de ahí no. empieza otra oración. Solo se queda con no. But you can. Can, ah, I, no. can I answer uh -huh. the, the phone? No. No. Punto. Coma. Ah, punto. Ahí sería okay. ya explicar la respuesta. You shouldn't. Uh -huh. You shouldn't answer the phone. Okay. Porque ahí con, con el punto ya empezamos otra oración. Oh. Entonces, can I, can I answer the the, the phone uh -huh. 
No. Eh, no. No. Punto. Period. You shouldn't answer the phone. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Should not. Should. S H O U L D. Should not. Contractado es shouldn't. No, no. Okay. You should not answer the phone. No, se puede Vaya, entonces si quiere practiquémosla. Vale. Eh, ¿Se la comparto o la, o la, la anotó? No, no, yo he anotado. Ah, vale. Uh -huh, gracias. Entonces, Vaya, entonces, yo comienzo. Yo comienzo. Carlos, today it's my first meeting. Would you mind giving some ethical rules? Give me, tú. Give some. Giving some. Ethical rules. Some ethical rules. Mm -hmm. You have the be punctual of time. Can I bring some? Ah, see, as it goes, you have to be punctual on time. No, es que be punctual y on time es lo mismo. O pone una o pone la otra. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What you have to be, to be punctual. Mm, sí. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, can I drink some coffee during the meeting? Yes, you can. Uh -huh. Another rule is to report to the house if I have any delay, any delay. If, if you have, porque usted me lo está diciendo. If you if have, you have any delay. Uh, hmm. Can I answer the phone? El gobierno. Mm -hmm. Pero me decía que, el, que sí era necesario, pero de verdad una buena apariencia. Mm -hmm. Okay, you finished, girls? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. So I will give you just one more minute and uh, because the other group have not finished yet. Okay? okay. Teacher, ¿cómo le puedo preguntar a Andrés? Eh, ¿Tú notificas a tu jefe cuando llegas tarde? You notify your boss for any lateness? Lateness es tarde. Do you notify, Do you notify your, boss your boss for any lateness? Lateness. ¿Cómo se escribe, teacher? Perdone. Ahí se los puse en el chat. Do you notify? Y you se lo ponen sin interrogación. Sí. Ya. Ok, en un minuto regresamos al mayor. Bueno.
Okay, very good. Okay, so we're going to do right now, we're going to go over to the conversations that you have prepared. If you, I don't know, that is not too much time. So it's not uh, probably some of you have not finished uh, the conversation, but we're as well, we're going to present it. Okay, so right now we're going to go over to the first uh, couple. We have Carlos and Carla, please. You present uh, your, your conversation. Carlos, are you ready? Carlos, yuhu. Carlos, por ahí estaba. Carlos tiene apagado el micrófono. You have, uh, you have a mute. Tiene apagado el micrófono. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Borré la conversación, por favor. <laughs> Carlos, today is my first meeting. Would you mind giving some ethical rules? No, borré la conversación, no la tengo. No la tiene. No. Ok. ¿La perdió? Ah, la perdí. Ok, that's fine. Pero, pero sí los escuché eh, cuando estaban repasando. Don't worry about that. That happens. Ok, so... Ah, no. No, teacher, tiene... espérame, espérame, que estaba aquí, lo que pasa es que me fue guardando. Ok, <risa> ya la ok, very good. No la hay en tanta cosa que tengo abierta. Ok. Démosle, Carlita. Okay. Ah, muy bien. Eh, Carlos, today is my first meeting. Would you mind giving some etiquette rules? You have to be, to, to be punctual. Can I drink some coffee during the meeting? Yes, you can. Another rule is report to your boss when you are delayed. Can I answer the phone? No, you, no, you should not answer the phone. That's all, teacher. Okay, very good. A applause for them, please. A applause for them. <laughs> very good. Very good job, and uh, Carla and Carlos. Okay, uh, we're going to move on uh, to the next couple. We have Tatiana and Flor, please. Teacher, quizás hicimos la tarea, la tarea incorrecta. <laughs> Porque oraciones hicimos. Okay, no, no problem. Just read the, your sentences. Read the sentences. Okay. Eh, hicimos cinco oraciones. Okay, good. The etiquette are import, important in the workplace. Very good. We must be polite when writing emails. Okay. Do not forget the regrets at the end of the email. Okay. Always be punctual and do not use high important in the subject. Okay, don't use high and uh, important in the subject. Very good. So, um, Andres and uh, Julia. Hello, Andres. Uh, how, how is the way to call your customers? Um, first, to I'll call the customer name and be polite. And what you work schedule? My time work is the 8 a.m. and finish the 4 p.m. Uh, you are punctual every day? Yes, I am punctual. You notify your boss for any lateness? Yes, I do etiquette. Podría ser, teacher? Yes, I do notify. Okay. Or, or, yes. I, use, or I use that etiquette. Podría ser también. Utilizo esa etiqueta. Okay, I finish. Okay, very good. Applause for them as well. Very good. Just one thing is when you ask a question is, are you or do you? Porque usted dijo you are. You are... Um, Mm. Puntual. Sería, are you punctual? Are you? 
Y la otra sería, do you notify? Ok, very good job. Ok, so we're going to move on uh, as to the other um, part of this. As uh, we are going to create, we already um, made that role play. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to get in pairs, identify the incorrect uh, request listed on page 38. Um, next, you have to select the most appropriate answer for those requests, then write a suggestion about the behaviors listed on the same page, and finally share what you have done to the class. So basically, what we're going to move is to this part. Let me just share this thing on page 38. Okay, let me just do zoom out this part and I will share the screen. Okay, so we have this part. Okay, let me see if you can see this. Okay, so you identify the three mistake in this request. For example, let's do this and together. Lo vamos a hacer juntos. Okay, porque tengo otra actividad preparada para después de esto. Okay, would you mind moving your car? It's block mine. Could you feel this purchase order? You could, you could feel this purchase order. Uh, would you send in this invitation to your assistant? Would you mind ordering something to eat? Could you come in earlier tomorrow? We need to receive our visitor. Eh, ¿Cuál de estas? Eh, hay, un, hay tres que están incorrectas. ¿Cuál de esas está incorrecta? ¿Cuál de esas está incorrecta? El segundo. El segundo. Number two, you could feel this purchase order. Very good. It's number two. Sería, could you feel? Porque es a question, right? Could you feel this purchase order? Very Number good. three. Number three. Number three. Would you send in a, this invitation to your assistant? Would you, would you mind sending? Would you this? mind? Very good. Would you mind sending this invitation to your assistant? And there is another. Uh, number five. Uh huh. ¿Cuál sería no. la correcta? Could you come? Could you, could you come? Could you come? Very good. Could you come earlier tomorrow? Remember, when we use cool, we need to use the base form of the verb. Cuando utilizamos will, you, mine, ahí sí, en este caso, como es este caso, would you mind ordering? We need to use the verb with the ing form. In este caso, could you come in? Este incorrecto sería, could you come? Very good. Now, let's move on to this. Select the most appropriate answer for the request below. Would you mind turning the lights on? No problem. Yes, I will. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta correcta? Maybe A. No problem. Uh, huh? Letter A. No problem. Very good. Would you mind turning the lights on? No problem. Recuérdense que cuando hay este tipo de pregunta, would you mind, es la, la respuesta negativa es, se torna positiva. Y la respuesta positiva se torna negativa. Okay, let's move on to the second one. Could you order something to eat, please? Yes, I could. 
is pizza okay? What should be the correct answer? Order. Yes, I cool. Yes, I cool. Very good. Yes, letter cool. A. Yes, I cool. Letter A. Okay, next one. Um, could you request more Jumbo Papers clips, please? ¿Cuál sería? Yes, what would be the best one? Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Okay, and that will be, I could do it. Podría ser, I could do it. Okay, so number four. Would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? No, I wouldn't. Oh, in a minute. What should be the correct or oh, the best answer? In a minute. In a minute. Very good. Yeah. Why we cannot? Okay. In this case, both will be right. If you see, no, I wouldn't. O sea, puedo responder, no, no me importa, o puedo decir de un solo la acción en a minute, ¿ok? En, en a minute quiere decir right away, en de inmediato, ¿ok? So we can answer in that way as well. Ok, number five. Excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? Yes, I could, or not a problem. Not a problem. You can also... Um, Answer not a problem or yes, I could in this situation, right? So you can say yes, I could do it. So I say que sí, que o no hay problema de que yo le baje el volumen. So we can answer in both ways. Okay, now instead of writing a suggestion, what we're going to do is um, just giving a suggestion. For example, uh, num activity number five. We have Sara never stop shouting on the phone when you have when we have lunch. What should be a suggestion? Sara no deja de chatear en el teléfono cuando tenemos lunch. O el almuerzo. ¿Cuál podría ser alguna sugerencia? Remember, she cool, podemos empezar. She could leave the table. She could leave the table. Very good. Okay. My boss does not like to walk to my desk when I need something. He shuts at me from his desk. Está como a seis metros de distancia y no le gusta pararse de, de escritorio de él o de ella. Le grita al empleado que está a seis metros de distancia que necesita algo. So, what should be um, um, an advice? Remember, you need to use should. For suggestions, we need to use should. Okay, she or he should Send me an email, for example. He should um, make a phone call. You can um, use that. Okay, number three. Jimena and Susan take my selfies when they are working. Take many selfies when they are working. ¿Cuál sería un consejo? Mm -hmm. 
they should yes they should respect the word time for example it will be in that way okay so the tarea les va a quedar la cuatro y la cinco and now we're going to move to an activity that I prepared for you. So I will share this one. Okay, remember we're going to finish today at 10.30, just 15 more minutes. And uh, we're going to have this part. Okay, let me just share this. Let me know if you see it, si la ven. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. So the, we are going to speak in this way. De esta forma lo voy a hacer hablar un poquito más. Uh, you need to choose one of the letters. Behind of that letter, there is a topic that you need to speak to. Okay, you need to talk about that topic. Por ejemplo, si le doy en A, yo ahorita no me acuerdo qué tópicos o qué temas hay detrás de cada letra. Pero solo por darles una idea, si yo le doy clic en la A, no quiere decir que ese tema está ahí. Pero si doy clic en la A, va a mostrar un tema. Por ejemplo, talk about your family. Y you need to talk about your family. Ok, This, that is uh, word related. Uh, topics and uh, outside work. Okay, we're going to start with Carla. Choose a letter, Carla. Letra K. K. Okay, letter K. K. We have talk um, for a minute last about vacation. your last vacation. Okay, you need to talk okay. about your last vacation. Um, my last vacation I went to New York. Okay. I visited I visited a lot of um, places like a museum a, a park. No. Yeah, park, a stadium yes. and um, what is I don't know. I work. I work a lot. Work a lot, and it was my first. It was my first time in metro, mm -hmm. and I don't speak English very well, so it was difficult for me okay. to talk about with the others. Okay, very good. That's applause it. for her, please. <laughs> applause for her. Very good. So we have a one minute to talk about that. That's what it says, talk up for a minute about. Okay, very good. Next one. We have Julia. Okay, Julia, choose a letter. And C. Letter C. Let's say behind letter C, we have, talk for a minute about your plans for next week at work. Okay, aquí va a utilizar will. I will para el futuro, porque es la, 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 la semana que viene. Okay, talk about your plans for uh, next week at work. Okay, you can start now. Solo, solo me preguntita en español, sí. teacher. Eh, usted me está preguntando qué es, lo que, qué es lo que tengo planeado la siguiente semana. Eso es lo que va a hablar. Mm. And I will registration. I will uh, register students. Uh, we we register um, uh, calificaciones, teacher. A uh, grades. Um, in in system. 
in the system eh, eh, está ahí. Okay, so you will uh, register or will you submit or uh, enter grades in the system. Okay, very good. Very good job. One applause for her, please. Very good. Okay, so next one. Okay, we have Carlos. Choose a letter. A. a. Letter A. Very good. So you need to talk for a minute about your favorite sports. You can my, start right now. My favorite sport is football. Soccer. Soccer. Okay, very good. What else? Okay, what can you tell about that? ¿Qué nos puede decir del soccer? Uh, uh, no play. I don't play <laughs> soccer, but I you don't like. Play it. soccer. Uh, uh, por decirlo desde la uh, desde la cuarentena. <laughs> Ah, okay. No, I, uh -huh. I don't play soccer since the quarantine. The quarantine. I don't play soccer. Uh -huh. I don't play soccer since the quarantine. Okay, very good. So, what is your favorite team in soccer? Uh, my favorite teams. Um, regional is. Um, uh, Eagle, Eagle. Okay, Aguila. Eagle. Very good. Play over there. Is this Eagle or Aguila? Aguila. Yeah, porque ahí sería Aguila, Aguila, ¿verdad? Aguila, because it's a proper name. Es el nombre, con, ah, okay. el nombre eh, propio del equipo. Del equipo. Okay. Aguila. Very good. Applause for him, please. Very good job. Okay, let's move on uh, to Flor. Flor, choose a letter. <laughs> Tiene el micrófono apagado, Flor. F, perdón. F. F. Ok, very good. Talk up for a minute about your family. Ok, you can start talking about right now. You can say, I have a daughter, I tengo una hija, I have a son. Um, my husband, or no, I don't know. You can talk about your uh, mother. Sí, como está, para decir cómo está conformada, my family is. My is, family is composed, or is formed, my you can say, form. For the husband. The husband, uh-huh. Husband, uh-huh. And one children. One, uh, acuérdese, children eh, son hijos. Si dice uno, tienen que especificar si es hijo o es hija. Hijo es son, and hija es daughter. Ah, ok. Entonces, ajá. Entonces, eh, one, one son sería. One son, ajá. Ajá, one son. Um, have seven years. He is seven years My old. Son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My son is... Seven years old. It's uh, imperactive. Imperactive. Okay. Only that? Okay, very good. Very good. Applause for her, please. Very good job. Okay, let's move on uh, to Tatiana. Okay, um, letter T. Letter T, uh, T as in Tom. Uh, you talk about for a minute about your daily schedule at home. Um, at home, uh, well, good. Um, it started at um, six o'clock. Okay. I'm <clears throat> I watch the the Facebook. I check. And, yes, I check the Facebook. Um, and I 
I go to my bathroom and I uh, making a breakfast, making a breakfast and uh, eating. Okay. Uh, uh, um, start a uh, work in my house um, at the eight. 8.15. Okay. Yes, um, in, in finish at uh, cualquier hora. Uh, anytime. Anytime. Uh, can see que uh, five o'clock in, in the afternoon. Okay. Um, um, luego, and then yeah, very good. Okay, very good. Applause for her, please. Very good. Okay, very good. Okay, Andres, your turn. There are. Oh, goodness. There are. Are. There are. Okay. Talk about um, for a minute about your strengths. The strengths are <laughs> las fortalezas. If you see uh, there, uh, if you see the picture, that is the resume. Is el resume, is el curriculum. It says Erika P. El P is el middle name que es abreviado, and a job seeker is the last name. Okay, we have good judgment, uh, details oriented. Focus, responsible, dynamic, and persuasive. Okay, so those are the strengths that, that she has. Okay, now talk about your strengths, su fortalezas, and su <coughs> trabajo. Eh, pueden ser pocas, it doesn't matter, but you need to talk about that. You can start. In my work, uh, I interesting and Como podríamos decir este? Buen trato, teacher. Good treatment. Good treatment. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and good attention, customer. Oh, customer attention. Good customer service. Good oh, customer, customer service. service. O oh, puede ser customer service oriented. So orientado al servicio al cliente. Cuando oh, dice yes. orientado es porque da un buen set. Perdón, da un buen servicio. Uh -huh. y enfocado al cumplimiento de metas, ¿cómo podríamos decir? Enfocado. Focused. Okay. Focused. 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 Focused on uh, um, reach my metrics o reach my goals, puede ser. Focus on reach my goals. Okay. Okay. Very good. Plus for him, please. Very good. So we have uh, just uh, three more minutes. So Carla, please choose another. Um, Letter M. Okay. Talk for a minute about what you want to do uh -huh. next summer. Okay, you can start. I want, the next summer I want to go to the beach and visit uh, different places because 2020 ha sido has it been, ha, has been has, very good has been awful okay I see and, and so I um, I will go to the beach I will go to the forest I will go to the I don't know a lot of places but okay. not in my home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is good. Okay, yes. yes. Uh, the, this period has been uh, awful, yes, for mm -hmm. many people, right? So mm -hmm. that's why you want to go to the beach, to the forest, to any places, but not stay at home. Very yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Very good yeah. job. And applause yeah. for her, please. Applause for her. Okay, so we're going to move uh, with Tatiana. Please choose another letter. Okay, letter um, O. 
letter O. Okay, let me just do, we have this one. And uh, talk for a minute about your hobbies. Um, my hobbies is yes. listen to music, listen to music, see I drink coffee. <laughs> I, I watch in Netflix, I drink a um, uh, five, five cups of coffee. <laughs> Okay. Yes, it's the, um, again, listen to music, uh, watch um, movies, um, some English. <laughs> okay. In, in English. So, yeah, only this. Only that. Okay. Very good. Applause for her, please. Very good. So you, it's very important that you listen to music in English because you get in contact with the language. Very good. Um, and next week we're going to have a little, uh, we're going to have an activity. I uh, will um, uh, show you and I played a, a music, a, a song. So we're going to listen to that and we're going to fill out the missing spaces. Yes. También canto todas las canciones. I sing, I sing all the time. All the time. Yes. That's in English. Good. In English, by the way. In English, by the way. Yes. Very good. Okay, guys. Um, as a summary, remember we just covered unit number three. Ya cubrimos la unidad tres. Eh, esperaría que sigan con sus tareas. Acuérdense, en cada tarea, en cada clase hay una tarea que cumplir que hacer son de cuatro a cinco ítems cada tarea ok eh, lo que le estaba diciendo a flor eh, el día de la sesión de one on one es que es importante que vayan a los how to en la unidad 3 tenemos how to tenemos el cool how to use cool en en uh, wool you es la primera estructura La segunda estructura fue how to use should and shouldn't. Ok, y revisen el vocabulario. Ya con esas tres cosas, el how to de la estructura gramatical más el vocabulario, ya pueden empezar a hacer las tareas. No necesitan, si no se acuerdan de algo, no necesitan ver de nuevo toda la clase. Eh, revisen el material que les doy, que, que, que bajan los links. Y por favor, los que no han hecho el midterm, la evaluación, por favor, esperaría que para esta semana la hagan, porque ya el viernes de la otra semana finalizamos curso, cual ya para el viernes, a más tardar el fin de semana, que termina 28, 28 terminamos, estamos hablando de 29, 30, más tardar el 31 de agosto tendría que atender notas de todos porque si no no pueden si no tengo notas de todos no podemos arrancar con el siguiente curso guys ok so, así es que los animo a hacer sus tareas y a hacer las evaluaciones hay alguna pregunta no hay preguntas acuérdense si necesitan ayuda o so, escríbame ya tienen mi correo tienen mi número de whatsapp me pueden escribir so, no me voy a molestar si me escriben Y con todo gusto yo les puedo ayudar. Si no hay preguntas. So we're going to finish today. And I hope you enjoyed today's class. Okay, guys. See you next week. See you on Monday. Take care. and Have a great night and weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Bye-bye.